um, blessings on us all this morning. Happy East, Easter to those who are celebrating Easter. I am Umar Muhammad, also known as Olaiwala Amatuhinda Rishakunola, also known as Second Senged, also known as Neville Angelo Scott. So this morning, Easter Sunday morning, and today is the fourth of the fourth, 2021. As you all know that I usually come with my numerical meaning of the month and the letters, okay? So what I'm going to say this morning is that before we go into the numerical understanding of this month, let me say that there are three kinds of people in this world, or this is how I put it. The nobats, the Noahs, and the what, whatever, whatever, the KKM, the nobats, the Noahs, and the whatever. Now, each and every one of us falls into one of these categories. The nobats are people who know something is wrong, but what my friends will say, the religion, the, the religion that I belong to, how will they look at me? I know it is wrong, yes, but I just cannot go and fall into something else, even though it's right. I'm studying my friends, my religious friends, the friends in the community, people who know me. I'm studying the kind of publicity it will be given to me. So let me leave it like that. Then you have the knowers, those who know, and sometimes they think they know too much, but they know, and they are willing to practice what they know, they are willing to go through changes because of what they know. Then you have the whatever, those are people who don't care, right? It's passed on from one generation to the next generation, all the mistakes, all the false doctrines that have been passed down from one generation to the next generation. Well, whatever, I don't care whether. So, this morning, I'm going to give a hint of what goes on with the no, the no buts, and the whatever, the KKW. Since this is the month of April, I went into Google and uh, I asked the question, how did April get his name? So let me continue to read from Google. But being confident about the origin of a word that's been around since before 1150 isn't so simple. There are a few common theories behind April's naming. One is that the name is rooted in the Latin Apilis, which is derived from the Latin Apivire. That's how I pronounce it. A-P-E-R-I-R-E -E, or Apivire. Apivire, meaning to open. Epiwire meanings to open, which could be a reference to the opening of blossoming of flowers and the trees, a common occurrence throughout the month of April in the Northern Hemisphere. Another theory holds that since 
months are often named for gods and goddesses, and Epilis is derived from the Greek Aphrodite. It is possible the month was named for the Greek goddess of love, the goddess that the Roman called Venus. Even now, April is a popular name. Continuing. And as if that isn't enough, a mystery, and, and if that isn't enough of a mystery, April also has yet another origination story around the, the fifth century, the Anglo-Saxon referred it to April as Easter Monat, or Easter Monat, reference to the goddess Easter, whose feast was celebrated during the month of April. The venerable Bede, a monk from the North Humbrian Monastery of St. Peter, believed this gave root to the word Easter, which is most often observed during the month of April. So, as we see, and it was set up here, the month of April goes way back before January and February were added to the end of the year by King Numa Pompilos around 700 BCE. April was already the second month of the Roman calendar year. March was the first around 450 BCE. April was rearranged into the fourth slot and was assigned 29 days. So my teacher see. There was a race of people who came along and distorted all the original teachings. They moved April and they moved this month and they put it, August was known as Augustus, was named after Augustus Caesar. July was named after Julius Caesar. And they, they, made, they made the shit up the whole thing. A race of people, the Caucasian race of people. You know when they talk them kind of people don't like it, they're talking about race. But we're talking about race, which is factual. It is not hating anybody, it is history. Because when they told us about the Tarzan the Phantom and said that all what we do was to invent a spear, we didn't say anything. We laughed at your own self. So don't come and give me that stuff and tell me what is race and race. This race of people came along and they distorted nature, they interfered with everything. They bring along their language and they put their language first and foremost. And because of their language, the whole scripture was distorted into a fable, into a Nancy story. And they came along with a slavery that no other race of people ever endured. And from that slavery, they gave us what they wanted to give us, and they hid from us what, what they didn't want us to know. So we grew up taking from our parents, Jesus, hallelujah, and all kind of thing. Even the word Jesus is a distorted word. And many people go up and say, Jesus, Jesus is the name, the name of Jesus. And so. Right? There was no Jesus in the language that Jesus spoke. There was no Jesus in that language. So just for a little short thing now, they distorted the whole thing. And that were a lot of people living in a fool's paradise. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the name of Jesus. And all kind of things. If Jesus come now, he will, he, will, he will tell you, why are you giving me a nickname? That's not my name. That was never my name. But as I said before, you have the nobats, you have the, the Noahs, and you have the whatever. So each and every one, one of us falls into this kind of category. I was just on Google last night and I went through the research over and over because, you know, sometimes when you, you, you talk about these things, people say, oh, you're a demon, you're an unbeliever. The word Jesus was nowhere in the time of this man whom you all call Jesus. It was Yahshua. The Romans and a lot of people came up with certain names. And they deviated the whole world into a, 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 a channel of mumbo-jumbo. 
They came, Christopher Columbus and these criminals came with their sword and their Bible in one hand, and they ran the original people who had their own belief, their own spirituality, out of Father Spain, Emperor Lima, they are still there, and they did it all over the world. And they established their cathedral and all their big religion and everything. And we must believe in them. We must believe in people who ran. Innocent people. Kill some of them. And who escaped, they settled in the rural areas. And they were Christians. And we must believe in this people. We must believe in their cathedral. We must believe in their teaching. We must believe in King James's transliteration of the Bible. So whatever King James said, whatever he transliterated in the English language, and it couldn't be compared with the original language, he put it his way, we have to believe in that. And we mustn't question that. And we have to be called Christians. Right? So the Christians run people, they kill people, they roam this earth, Bible in one hand, sword in the next hand, and they put up a big picture that Michael the Archangel with a sword cutting down the devil as a black man and they, they make a mockery of African people. They took what we have and they put it as theirs because when you call a slave, when you give a slave the slave master's name, whatever the slave did, it was in the slave master's name. So if the slave master's name was Tom Harry, and Tom Harry invented something, it goes on in the history, Tom Harry was the invention of what the thing, what the, of whatever it, whatever it was. And he put his picture there. So we think that is Tom Harry. Yes, that is Tom Harry. He represents Tom Harry, the black man who invented it. And we never question these things. And that is why we are living a life today of a sort of nonsense and trippiness. Well, I don't know how we look at sex, how we look at our everyday life, how we fashion our life after, after these people, how we fight against one another, how we don't like one another. Everything was programmed. So we do not have a culture. They tell us our culture is Steve Bannon, Kali too, but when we look around, the Chinese have a culture so much that they have a Chinese town now. When we look around, the Indians have a culture so much so that they have, they still have their Indian names, they still have their Indian organization. When it comes to the African organization, oh yes, well, some of us, we are changed, we are Africans, but yes, still we still exploit ourselves. So, so, we are going, heaven knows where we are going. We, we know we will, we will get there. Heaven knows how we will get there. We know we will. If we only know that the road will be muddy and rough. Well, I'll try to make a little high note there, but. <laughs> okay. All right, Palestinian disciple. Now, as you all know, I usually go down with my monthly numericals. Numerations of the month. So today is the 4th of the 4th, 2021. Look at it. The 4th of the 4th. Let me move this now because this has had its time. All right. So we're going. Right, today is the fourth, or oh, is this upside down? How is this like that? Um, hmm. I'm not seeing it. All right, so what I have to do, I have to read it out here, and I hope that you have a pen and paper to follow what I'm reading out. Today is the 4th of the 4th, 2021. So as we see, 4 is the ruling number for this month. Because you have the 4th of the 4th, 2021. 
And if you should take out the 21 from the 20, you still have 4 into 25. Right? 4 into 25. So 4 is the ruling number, the leading number. All right, so what we're going to do now, since today is the 4th of the 4th, 2021, we are going to add it up. We are going to add up 4 plus 4 out of the 2021 plus 20 plus 2. 4 plus 4 plus 20 plus 2. Let me see if you can still get it here. I don't know why it's like that. It has never been so for the past subjects that I've been doing concerning this. So, so. All right. Yes. So we plus four, plus four, because these are the, these are the fourth of the fourth, plus 20, plus two. Now, if you notice that I didn't put on the one, I didn't put plus 20, plus 21, right? Because I divided the 20, 21 into two sets of numbers, 20 and 21. So four, which is the fourth, today's the fourth, of the fourth one, plus four, plus 20, Plus two, I didn't put on the one. You know why I didn't put on the one? Because if I had put on the one, it would have meant that April has 31 days. And April does not have 31 days. I wonder if I could write it here. I wonder if I could write it here and write it over here and see how it will look. I'm going to write 31 here. This is 31 I'm writing here. I don't know what it is. All right, let me see. Let's see this side is here. Uh -huh, I see what's happening. I see what's happening. I see what's happening here. All right, so as you can see, this is 31 here, right? Let me write it over here now. Right, so here it is, 4 plus 4 plus 20 plus 2 equal 30, as you are seeing it here, right? Now, I didn't put in, if I notice that they got it through from the 21, because it's supposed to be 2021. So as you can see it here, 4 plus 4 plus 20 equal, plus 2 equal 30. Now,
So as you see underneath here, the 4th of the 4th, 2021, what I did is a plus 4, plus 4, plus 20, because I divided the numbers 2021 20, into two sets of numbers, the year 2021 20, into two sets of numbers, 20 and 21, plus 2. Now I left off, I leave off the one, right? Why? Because 4 plus 4, 4 plus 4 plus 20 plus 3 equals 30. And that is the number of days in April 30. If I had put in the 1, it would have been 31. And it is not 31, 31 days in the month of April. Right? So, and then what I did also, let me put it at the side here. 4 plus 4 plus 20. Plus 20 plus 21 equals 49. 4 plus 4 plus 20 plus 21. Right. So look at here. 4. Right. 4 plus 4, don't have this side here, plus 20, plus 21, equal 49, right? So what you have to do now is you have to find out which is the highest number out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 that can go into 49 without leaving a remainder, and that number is 7. 7 into 49 is 7. So therefore, by doing that, we, find the, we, we come to the conclusion that 7 days is one week and 30 days is one month in the year of april well seven days is always one week but we're just putting it to the you know to, to the numerical order seven days is one week and 30 days in the month of april so that's it right that is that is so the month of april has the basic number for the month of April is 4, right? And 4, and these numbers have to fall within the numbers of the month. So 4, 7, 4 and 7, the two basic numbers. 4 and the 7. Because April is the fourth month of the year, it has 30 days, and then 4 and 7, is, bit, is between the numerical sense of April, right? So, that's about it. And, um, as I'm saying, that even the Easter is a, is, a, is a goddess, right? And you see what happened to some of these Christians? They're so die-hearted, they're so foolish and stupid, that they will go with Easter as though it belongs to Look, the whole resurrection, the whole this, what we have to do is to go back. We have to look, we have to do our, our research and go back and right the wrong. Right? Because they say Jesus was put into the tomb, according to the scriptures, Friday evening sundown. Right? And he rose Easter Sunday. So Friday evening sundown to Saturday evening is one day. Saturday evening, Sunday. You see, you don't get three days there. And then you, you come again with the seven days Adventist. Right? It was, long ago, there was not no 12 days in a month. There was no seven days in a week. I think it was four days. Right? And there you have again, Julius was named after Julius Caesar. August after Augustus Caesar, a whole set of thing and August, and I mean all these people believe in these things. Every one of us believe Easter Sunday, August, and then you have Christianity is more, is more than ever. Everywhere you go, there's a Christian shrine, a Christian church, a Christian. Every year, Deliverance Temple, Universal Church, every upset and downstairs, Christianity is 
is in abundance more than long ago. But the lies continues and things are becoming worse. Right? Things are becoming worse. The more people praise, the more things become worse. Right? It is not the Orisha people whom they claim is, is Obian demon. It is not the Baptist people. It is the people who give us Christianity that have this world so. The people who give us criminals like Sir Francis Drake, Sir Walter Raleigh, Christopher Columbus, Dan Blasted Liar, that have this world so. Right? So that once you are anything other than Christian, people look down at you. That is how the program has to be. Look at the seven days Adventist. When was the first day? Nobody can tell you. What was the name of the first day from the day of creation? Nobody can tell you. One thing in the, in the scripture say, the one day was like a thousand years unto the Lord and a thousand years was like one day. Right? So how we came by Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, that is the seven days. How we came by that? How? Who told us to number the days from Sunday? Who gave these days the name Sunday? Who told us that Sunday was the first day? So let's suppose from creation, the first day, let me suppose it was a Wednesday. So you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So Tuesday was the seventh day. And it continues Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So every Tuesday is the seventh day. But then we don't know what was the name of the first day given by the Most High. And we, we don't know. Some Roman people came along and they, they, they have a clock and they call it Big Ben and they rearranged the whole day. I don't know. They're, they're putting, they're adding months. Imagine this. They're adding months and they took out months and they're adding this. And the whole world is like a set of chippies. All, all of you fallen foolish. Don't you know that in some civilizations, somewhere in North Africa and many of these countries, we are not in 2021. We're supposed to be in 2010 or something. So some, some speed up on the time. And, well, I don't, and we fall in Big Ben. You know. Who the hell is Big Ben? Some clock in England and uh, I don't know. We 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 put on the jack and time, we hold the Bible in hand and we and we, we feel we are as holy as and thou and we saw the name of Jesus living in a fool's paradise. Anyhow, Calypsonian disciple. <laughs> Boy, hey. If you study this word, especially African people, even the word African is not our, but let me leave it so for now. Al Kibulan. We have so much of our work to do to right the wrongs, to correct the misconceptions. And when you look at how we're going and what we're teaching our children, we should be. Teaching all these things to our children. Because it's a person and we don't want to pass on the mistakes so that our children could continue to be living in a world of misconception, fighting one another, calling one another dog and horse and nigger and all that kind of thing. As I said before, we are the only race of people that has so many stupid names to yourself. Nigger, monkey, cockroach, dog. Right? And, uh, and the next name, um, the next name. But well, I forget what kind of name we have, what kind of. Anyhow, for those of you all who are celebrating Easter, have a happy Easter, and I hope one day you all will stop understanding and overstand. <laughs>